We have here a pretty simple blue-red Hackenbush position in which blue is pretty clearly going to win. It doesn't really matter whether blue or red goes first, blue's going to win. And in fact, it feels like blue's going to win by quite a bit. If I add a red stick in, blue's still going to win. And if I add another red line in, blue's still going to win. And it doesn't matter who goes first. But I need to get to here before the game somehow feels balanced. And what do I mean when I say the game is balanced? Well, I mean that the second player wins. That's going to be kind of a basic term that we're going to be talking about a lot. I'm going to call those positions zero games. A zero game is a game where the second player wins. And you can get a sense for these zero games of if I have four over here and four over here, four for blue and four for red, I have a zero game. It feels kind of right to call this game three for red, and this game three for blue, and say that these three and three kind of cancel out. I would wonder, is this three for blue and one for red worth two? What do I mean by that? Well, I guess the question is now if I add two more for red, do I get a zero game? And sure, I do. I get, I have three for red here and three for blue here. If you play it out, you'll see that whoever goes first is going to lose. And that is what we mean by zero. Things become a little bit less clear if I make something a little bit more complicated. What happens here? If blue goes first, blue wins. If red goes first, blue wins. Skin's winning for blue. So, I already know a few games that are winning for blue. I have this one, which I've been calling one. And I have this one, which I'll draw with kind of, which I've been calling two. And I have this one, which I've been calling three. Is this game the same as 1? Well, if it's the same as 1, then when I balance it with a 1 for red, I'd hope to get a balanced game, a 0 game. But unfortunately, when I look at this game, I'll erase this one so it's a little clearer. When I look at this game, red wins. It doesn't matter who goes first. So I've kind of crossed over my balance point. Maybe I can balance it this way. If I put this is good for red, this is good for blue. Let me put in... Let me put in another one of these. Now I have these two things, they're both good for blue against this one that's good for red. Let's see, is it a zero game? Does the second player have a winning strategy? 